What's going on guys? Thanks for joining me down the shed tonight. Now, unfortunately, we've been in lockdown this week here in Victoria, so it's not particularly conducive to camping. Now, uh, not too long ago, I did a truck camping trip in my Ford Ranger with my drawer set up in the back and I found it to be really messy and tedious and, and not very practical. So tonight's mission is to start building a kitchen in my set of drawers. So let's get started. She's just a wee bit fresh tonight, so I've chucked on the diesel heater. If you haven't, go and check out that video already. Get yourself an all-in-one diesel heater. You won't regret it. So I've taken the liberty of uh, taking the drawers out of my ute and putting in the shed so it makes it a bit easier to do the, uh, the modification I'm looking at doing. So I did a video a few weeks ago explaining my truck camping setup and I sort of alluded to the fact that I've got drawers. I didn't really go into it too much, but um, this is the, the setup that I have with my drawers. Right, so just a little bit of background on these drawers. When I bought the vehicle, the drawers were in it. So um, I didn't build them. Uh, it was built by a place called Best Off-Road, which is down in Melbourne somewhere. So it's a really simple setup. It's got this really big, deep drawer on one side and then two shallow ones on the other side and they go to full uh, depth back to the back of the drawers. This, uh, this one originally wasn't a fridge slide, it was, um, the top was fully covered, it was just a really deep drawer used for recovery gear and that sort of thing. Just happened to be the perfect width to fit my fridge in it, so I cut the bit out and um, put my fridge in it, which means that I can slide it in and out as well. There's also a cavity in the back that I can use for um, gear storage back there, perhaps, you know, some like um, full drive recovery gear or something like that. So primarily, most of the gear is stored over this side. So up until now, it's just been a mess of all bits of random gear in there. There's, there hasn't been sort of any rhyme or reason to it, which is why I'm gonna start solving that tonight. So, that, what I wanna do is I wanna make this bottom drawer, a kitchen, and this top drawer can be the general storage. So, my thoughts are that this first section here will have the cooker in it, and then all the utensils, uh, saucepans, uh, skillets, all that sort of stuff there, plus, you know, um, basic uh, cooking things like spices, oils, that sort of stuff, so that you're all, everything you need is in this spot. You've got the fridge right there, cooker's right there, and the key is to adding workspace, so bench space in here somewhere, somehow. So um, that's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna start planning that and, and working it out. Now something I've already gone and done is bought a pair of these coffee table lifters, because I've got a plan that um, I'm gonna have these installed in this front section here so that you've got a workspace over the top of the cooker, and all you do is open it out, takes the workspace up, then you can open up your cooker and cook here with a workspace in behind. So I'm gonna try and um, install those. It looks like there's a good bit of space on the side of the cooker where I can get them in there and um, be able to lift the, a workspace up. So for the work surface that I'm gonna put on top of here, I'm thinking of using Melamine um, if you want to use it as a, like a chopping board or something like that, it's um, probably good to have that sort of plastic coating on it for food safety and that sort of thing. So um, uh, I might to cut it up and see if I can get it to, to go sit down flush with the top of it. I've also added a little strip of mild steel in there just to protect the timber uh, that's going to be exposed to the flames there so hopefully it won't catch fire. So um, I've got some good clearance now, the, the works base up here, um, there's plenty of space for the, the cooker in there and fits a decent sized fry pan in there really nicely so I'm happy with it so far but we'll keep going. Now the next thing I want to do is have a workspace that comes off this side so you know you can put your cooking condiments things up the top there that you use to cook and you've also got a space where you can um, prepare chop up food that sort of thing so what I'm going to hopefully do is perhaps use another piece of this melamine here 
and have uh, some sort of clamp that comes down and slots on the top there so you've got a nice little workspace that comes off to the side of the cooker. So I didn't like the way that the that malamine top turns. I went through a whole redesign. I managed to find some bamboo cutting boards at Kmart, which is the perfect size. I'll show you what I've done. Right, so I've got the drawers installed, so now we'll see how the kitchen comes out and uh, how accessible it is. So the stove's at a really good height here. I'm really pleased with how well it's come out. Everything seems to be really accessible, quick to reach, um, everything that's involved with cooking. The cutting table here's at a really good height. I'm really pleased with that. And if you want to, you can pull out the fridge and have that um, easily accessible while you're standing here cooking. Now there might be a few questions as to, well, how can you access the stuff that's in that top drawer while you've got the uh, kitchen pulled out and you're cooking? Well, what I've done is put um, the most accessible, sorry, the most um, used stuff here in the front and rarely used stuff in the back. So this stuff has got like coffee making, um, dishwashing type stuff. It's all in there that you can access while you're cooking. Now there's one more thing I want to try out um, while I've got the kitchen set up like this and I've installed the um, King's rear awning up there on the back. What I want to do is uh, put it out and see how well it covers the kitchen area. Well, I'm really pleased with how uh, well the awning covers the kitchen area. Plenty of space underneath there. There's at least a foot from the end of that cutting table to the edge of the awning there. Give you really good uh, coverage from the elements while you're in here cooking. Right, so I've got an overnight I planned for this weekend to, to really try out this system and how well it works and how convenient it is to set up provided there aren't any surprises with COVID. So um, we'll get to that and you'll be able to see a more in-depth sort of review on, on how the kitchen works. So um, we'll call it quits there. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.